When you think about it, most people are probably pretty unfamiliar with the vast majority of comic books or graphic novels. If it weren't for a number of the movies and television shows out there, characters like Iron Man, Doctor Strange, or even Green Arrow would probably draw something of a blank expression from the idle passerby. With the possible exception of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the likelihood of this further increases when you go beyond the industry's titans in Marvel and DC. But there have still been many lesser known comic books to get their shots at the big screen, to varying degrees of success. Comics aren't all about superheroes after all, and with a ton of material out there, it makes sense that some will have, quite covertly, inspired some Hollywood productions. With that in mind, I'm Yoon from What Culture, and here are 10 most obscure comic books that were turned into movies. Number 10, Red. Published by Wildstorm, the actual Red comic was far less comedic than its Bruce Willis-led counterpart. Featuring a retired CIA agent whose status is abruptly changed from green to red, the Warren Ellis Cully Hammer comic is a dark and bloody affair, so the fact it inspired an action comedy makes it something of an oddity. Releasing in 2010, the Red film featured Bruce Willis, John Malkovich, Morgan Freeman, and Helen Mirren operating under the retired Extremely Dangerous acronym. It's a great film though, largely because of John Malkovich. Number 9, Road to Perdition. Road to Perdition was a graphic novel written by Max Allen Collins and published by Paradox Press in 1998. In it, a man named Michael O'Sullivan, already tormented by how his life in the mob conflicts with his faith, finds that his family have had a hit placed on them after his son witnesses a mob execution. The book went on to spawn a perdition saga, but they're more famous for spawning a modern day classic in the cinematic realm. Directed by Sam Mendes and featuring a cast comprised of Tom Hanks, Paul Newman, Jude Law and Daniel Craig, Road to Perdition was a critical and commercial success. It would be nominated for six, yes, six Academy Awards, including Best Supporting Actor for Newman, and winning one for its cinematography. Keen to avoid tarnishing the legacy of the original film, presumably, no other sequels have yet been made. Which is fair enough, considering the first is so good. Number 8, The Losers. Released by Vertigo from 2003 to 2006, The Losers was a follow-up to a World War II era series of the same title published by DC Comics. The new series focused on a group of US Special Forces operatives who suddenly get themselves placed on a kill order by the CIA. The Andy Diggle Jock comic garnered praise quickly, and while it's absented the spotlight in years since, it's one of the highlights of DC's finest imprint. Chris Evans is the king of comic book adaptations, and the 2010 film is one of his lesser known comic book credits. He's clearly having a blast in it though, featuring in a scene where he takes finger guns to a whole new level altogether by stylishly laying waste to an entire office block with sniper cover provided overhead. Number 7, Time Cop. Time Cop was originally a three-part series from Dark Horse, published in 1992. The story had been dreamt up by Mike Richardson and written out by Mark Verheden and then drawn by Ron Randall. The original story featured a time-travelling police officer taking on the robot bodyguard of a 1930s diamond thief, okay, in South Africa. Well, that's... That's nice, that's a cool little premise, I, I guess, yeah. The 1994 movie version went in a decidedly different direction, however. The Jean-Claude Van Damme picture instead featured its main character going after a corrupt politician responsible for his wife's death. Though it was very different from its source material, the movie was still highly successful and launched a new franchise. We say franchise in relative terms because, well, a botched TV series and a direct DVD sequel don't really count. But still, time cop everyone, it's definitely a thing I didn't make up. Number 6, American Splendor. American Splendor was created by Harvey Pecker in 1976. The series is made up of several autobiographical stories illustrated by several artists over the years, perhaps most notably by Robert Crumb. Originally self-published by Pecker, the series was eventually acquired by Dark Horse as well as DC. In 2003, New Line Cinema even released a film version. A unique adaptation in the plainest sense, the film serves as both a sort of adaptation and also as a biopic, telling the story of how the comics came to be. Not surprisingly, the movie did not exactly light up the box office, but it did garner plaudits on a critical level. Said praise even manifested in an Academy Award adaptation for Best Adapted Screenplay. Unfortunately for for it, this also happens to be the year that Lord of the Rings won everything. Better luck next time. Number 5, Rest in Peace Department. Oh god, where do we where do we get started with this doozy? Based on the Dark Horse comic of the same name and starring Ryan Reynolds and yet another comic book flop, RIPD was meant to do for Universal what Men in Black did for Sony, by ripping the whole thing off altogether. 
The film itself, however, wasn't a good reflection on the actual comic, which was a fun if not wholly seminal Dark Horse book. But still, R.I.P.D. was so bad. Like, so bad. So, so bad. Please don't go watch that film. Number 4, Dark Town. Dark Town is a Canadian graphic novel published by Mad Monkey Press. A bizarre tale, it centers on a man named Jack who is in a coma after a car accident who wakes up in a strange world called, as you may have guessed, Dark Town. Villains in this strange world set out to use Jack's body as a vessel to get into the normal world. But Jack has a weapon against them, his imagination, which he can carry around in a red suitcase. The book itself ended on a cliffhanger, as it was intended to be the first part of a series. However, none of the planned sequels have yet to be published. Monkey Bone, of all films, even took its inspiration from the comic. It was notoriously dreadful though, with an in-his-prime Brendan Fraser unable to avert a disastrous critical and commercial reception. Number 3, Ghost World. Ghost World was published by Fantagraphic Books from 1993 to 1997. The Coming of Age series, which stemmed from that comic, is arguably the most famous storyline to come from the anthology series written by author Daniel Clowes. A 2001 film version even featured Scarlett Johansson long before she took the world by storm as Black Widow, as well as others like Thora Birch and Steve Buscemi. Much like American Splendor two years later, Ghost World was not a blockbuster by any stretch of the imagination, but it was incredibly well received, sporting an Academy Award nom to its name during award season later that year. Number 2, Flaming Carrot Comics. Yes, while Smash Mouth's all-star tends to reside in meme culture as a purely Shrek-related fantasy, it actually spawned from the criminally underrated Mystery Men, which starred Ben Stiller and Hank Azaria, among others. The film was also based on a comic, namely the Flaming Carrot, and yes, that is the best superhero name ever made. Starting off as a solo feature at first, the carrot eventually joins the Mystery Men, the inspiration for the film, and Smash Mouth's accompanying anthem. While it was overlooked at the time, the film's gone on to develop a cult following in recent years, even if the titular carrot in question never ended up making an appearance. Number 1, The Escape. While The Escape isn't this book's actual name, the actual pronunciation is a bit of a doozy, so for reference, it's The Escape. The Escape first began life as a graphic novel back in 1982. The story takes place in a dystopian future where a single train supposedly contains the last of humanity. Believed to be impossible for one to survive in the frozen outdoors, class warfare between those at the front and at the back of the train breaks out, which is the perfect metaphor for British Rail as it currently exists. The theatrical version of the tale, Snowpiercer, premiered in the United States in 2014. Its cast included Chris Evans, Jamie Bell, Tilda Swinton, John Hurt, Ed Harris and Octavia Spencer. And while other hits like Captain America, among others, have largely outshone the film in the court of public relevance, a TV series could soon be on the way. Yippee, Snowpiercer is great. And that's our list. What other obscure comic books do you know that inspired films? Be sure to let us know in the comments below, and as always, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and head back over to whatculture.com for more classy content every day. I've been Ewan, and I'll see you next time.